Hello Virgo, it's my lady from my lady's way tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of uh, November 20, nope, November 4th through the 11th, 2019. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I'm closing off with my Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, guys. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so already, <clears throat> please excuse me. I got some very, very, very strong energy coming in for you guys today, okay? Very strong energy. All right, so I do feel like somebody's getting ready to move or move forward, okay? With this energy is so strong, I feel like it may be just connected to a small group of people, okay? So if this is touching you, it may be somebody very close to you. It, it doesn't have to be you. But I do feel like somebody is supposed to have this message, okay? All right, so somebody's moving. All right, somebody's moving. Somebody's possibly getting ready to go on a trip, okay? Um, but I do feel like somebody's getting ready to move. All right, so we got the passion. Sorry, we got the passion card here. So I do feel like somebody could be facing a passion or somebody just getting ready to move because of an uh, area that they're more passionate with. Okay, but let's keep going. Mm. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I heard before I even pull the next card. I do feel like somebody could be going on a trip with somebody that they want to have a romantic getaway with, okay? I just felt that. I just seen that, okay? So this might not have nothing to do with anything else. That's just one of the pictures they just showed me, okay? I showed, saw two people on a plane or sitting in a car or something, but they was looking at the road going by or looking at something going by in the window, okay? All right, so we got the sanctuary card here. Mm-hmm. All right, so this makes me feel like I don't have no personal space. I also feel like um, I heard trapped. I feel like somebody feel trapped. Um, I do feel like um, there's a bit of stalking going on as well, okay? So I do feel like if I go outside, you got to go outside too. If I go get the mail, you got to go get the mail too. If I go to the bathroom, you standing at the door trying to see what's going on, all right? Um, I do feel like there's a lot of that going on, okay? But I do feel like there is a lot of passion. But I don't know. I do feel like somebody may pass the line and get a little creepy here, okay? But I do feel like, you know, the passion is pretty good. So I'm just like, all right, I'm going to deal with this, you know? But I also feel like, all right, this person is getting a little bit weird, okay? <clears throat> This person is getting a little weird. Okay, so I do feel like somebody may be dealing with somebody from a different race, religion. Um, maybe it's just some kind of social difference, okay? Um, I do feel like whatever this is, I feel like it may be new to you. And I do feel like that's why you're kind of drawn to it. And I do feel like that's why, I'm going to just say you, this could be the other way around. I do feel like that's why you letting this creepiness get a away. <clears throat> it, it may not be that bad. Maybe in their um, culture, they do this. So maybe in their neighborhood or in their, you know, whatever this social thing is, maybe that's this is what happens. This is what they do. So I do feel like somebody is excusing the things that they're doing because of their social difference, okay? Mm hmm yeah, you know what? I understand that, too, because I'm just like, okay, you just want to, you know, stare at me on the toilet. All right. Okay. But I do remember, like, I met this lady, and she was from a different um, 
and she wanted to hold my hand all the time. And I didn't realize that that is, um, it's, it's okay. It's like nothing wrong with that in different countries. They, they just do that when they really like someone. But in America, you know, we get uh, stigmatized when we do stuff like that. I mean, I did it because she was nice and, you know, I'm a nice person most of the time. Uh, so I did it. So I do see somebody just looking past it because they think it's some kind of cultural difference, okay? Yeah, but I don't know what the staring in the bathroom thing. That's a little different, okay? All right, so we got the song, siren song reversed here. So I do feel like somebody is not looking at things for what they are, okay? And I do feel like you may be getting some signs and some signals from your angel, spirit guides, friends, and family about this person, like what you should be doing, what you should and shouldn't be expecting, okay? But I don't feel like you listening to any of that because what's controlling the situation right now is the passion, is the heat of the moment. That's what is controlling things right now. So, oh, no, I'm like seeing creepy eyes staring at me, you know? Oh, um, but you don't see it like that. But that's what your friends and family see. All right. Oh, okay. That's awesome. So it seems like you're not thinking about any of that because it's this passion and this person makes you feel amazing. This person makes you feel like the smartest person in the world. This person makes you feel beautiful. Yep. I will probably ignore everything too. All right. What we got here? All right. So we... Got the moving card again, so it's definitely something going on with somebody moving, going on a trip or something. Um, but then we got this time out card here. This makes me feel like somebody may think about timing out or leaving a situation once they get to a, somewhere else. Like, uh, say y'all going to, I love Thailand. i never been, but I wanted to go, so I'm going to say Thailand. So say y'all going to Thailand, when y'all get there, this person dump you, okay? Or this person is having, the I'm talking about the creeper is having second thoughts about the whole situation once they take you out the country, okay? Or wherever your country is. Maybe you're coming to America, maybe you're going to Australia, or maybe you're going any, could be going anywhere, okay? But I do feel like somebody going to second guess the situation once they get there, all right? Mm. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so we got the reflection cards contemplating. So I do feel like you're not seeing things for what they are, okay? But I do feel like you're going to start seeing them, but I feel like it's go something going to happen during this trip. So this card just jumped out. It makes me feel like, of course, you need to trust your friends and family. They are not jealous, okay? Maybe just like 2% jealous, but the other 98%, they're there for you. They got your back. You know, they're more happy for you than anything. And I feel like you re definitely need to listen to them because they're not just um, jealous. All right. So we got the uh, prophecy card here, the fate destiny. So this makes me feel like the things that's happening how are supposed to happen for you. Okay. So I do feel like it's going to set you up for success in the future. But I do feel like some weird stuff is getting ready to happen where this person is going to be weird when you guys move together or go on this trip or whatever this is. I'm I'm telling you, okay? This could be just um, something to let you know, pay attention to the signs. When people are doing weird stuff, name them, okay? Name it. Call it what it is, all right? All right, let's see what's going on with the Virgo. Mm. Okay, so I heard control, okay? So I do feel like this person is trying to get you out of your um, element, out of your uh, safe zone, okay? And I do feel like everything's going to be great when they get you out of the safe zone, I honestly feel like they're going to make you feel like they want you. They on the power struggle right now, okay? They're trying to gain some power. So when they take you into this foreign place 
or make you move and then they have all the control and they try to let you know how much they control they have is going to make you cling to them more okay so i do feel like somebody is trying to control you okay that's why everything is all great and perfect and then all of a sudden this person when you get somewhere they want they want to leave you mm. Mm -mm. yep that's it i just saw somebody standing in the middle of like it looked like maybe some kind of downtown area and they doing like circles like what the heck am i doing here you know so i do feel like somebody is trying to uh make someone feel vulnerable Okay, so the only thing, you just look to them. I turn to you. That's it. I don't know if I cut these cards, y'all, but I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. All right. All right. So we got the Eight of Swords here. Reverse. So this makes me feel like somebody was in a mental trap or um, somebody feels like they're in a mental trap, but they can leave whenever they want to, okay? All right, so that's what I was feeling. Somebody's trying to trap you mentally. Okay, all right, so that just jumped out, but this was supposed to be there. So I do feel like somebody's trying to make some kind of offer. And I feel like their offer is going to be successful, okay? So somebody is getting ready to be very successful with some kind of offer they got coming in, okay? It could be love, could be work, could be money. But I do feel like with these two coming out, definitely success is on their way. It's on its way. I feel like it's a good offer getting ready to come up. And I feel like this offer is going to be taken. Mmm. Okay, I heard group party. I don't know what that is, so I'm going to keep going, okay? So this could be like somebody is going to some kind of event, some kind of work event, some kind of lecture or something like that. But usually I see this as a third party card. But right now I'm, I'm looking at these people are talking to those two people. So I feel like some kind of lecture, some kind of could be a concert, some kind of uh, networking something going on here. <clears throat> oh, these cars jumping all over the place, y'all. All right. So we got the eight of, of pinnacles reverse. And this makes me feel like somebody may not be working. Okay. But I do feel like somebody may be trying to get work. Okay. Or maybe somebody is Mm. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of stuff here. Like, this is too much. Uh, So, I do feel like, small bit, there's a third party. Somebody's saying they're going to work, they're not going to work. I feel like that's only like 5%, okay? Um, I do feel like somebody is going to, like, networking events. And I do feel like this networking event, I do feel like it's going to take Take you guys away, okay? Take you away from everything you know. And it's going to get this person the control they need to take control of you, okay? Um, but I do feel like somebody's going to a job event and they have to leave or travel for this. Let's see what this is. So we got the two of swords reversed here. So I do feel like somebody has a choice to make, okay? It's still a two, but since it's being reversed... I feel like a little part of somebody is like, maybe I shouldn't go. I don't want to go. That's that signal. That's that sign that you need to listen to. I feel like you don't want to go, but I do feel like some of you guys are going to go anyway. Uh, I mean, either or, it's going to be a learning lesson. All right, so we got the Son of Swords. So I do feel like... I do feel like this person is going to be successful taking you away from your people um, or your comfort zone or you are going to be successful taking this person away, okay? Um, I do feel like arguing or any incident going to be cut down, cut off. If you got an issue with this person, you'll start talking to them and they'll walk out the room. There's nothing to them, okay? Okay. Um. 
All right, let's go on over with this three of cups. Oh, gosh. All right, but I told you this person wears that different religious. So it seems like this person may be married already. Okay? May be married. Okay? This is only for that small few that are, I guess it seems like you may be married or this person has a third party. Okay? Oh, gosh. There's a lot of stuff going on here, y'all. But I'm not going to, I can't go into all of it. All right, so with this hierophant reverse too, I do feel like somebody contracts were broken, okay? So this also makes me feel like some of you guys may have left a job and left everything, broken contracts, apartments, whatever, to get out of this situation and move in to let this person take control. All right, this person is definitely going to, it's a word for it, but I can't remember it, but it's like they're going to, They're not going to do good by by you. That's it. Okay? They're not going to treat you like you need to be treated. Um, I do feel like they're going to be giving you a lot of stuff. But I do feel like they're going to start trying to treat you as property. Okay? And then for some of you guys, I do feel like there may be more than one spouse. Okay? Maybe a one spouse and a potential spouse. All right, yeah, so it seems like the offer that may be coming in, this shout out with that, so it was meant to be here. This person may tell you that they want you to quit your job and they'll take care of you, which they will, but they're going to give you what you need and not what you want. When you're on, you got your own, you could do whatever you want, not in this situation. You are their property then. All right, hold on, didn't I see this up here? Yeah, that's this card. So this person is going to be trying to control your whole life, okay? Everything that you do, uh, even uh, down to the type of toilet paper you use, this person is going to be trying to control that, okay? This person is going to watch over you like you on the fields, okay? So just um think about all that. I mean, I do feel like this person is going to take care of you, but it's only going to be needs, not wants, okay? All right. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rise inside. Thanks for watching.